All right, right now I'm going to show you guys how to make a coupon using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, excuse my voice, uh, kind of getting over a cold here, but pretty simple process. Um, a lot like Photo Editor. You have your uh, tool uh, tools on the left here. Um, layers are over here on the right. And um, I've already pulled out my coupon, coupon master template, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a photo right here on top. So all I do is I've already pulled up the image I'm going to use. I'm going to just pull and drag that over. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. So I go up here to edit, free transform, click on that. And then it'll let you go in here and you just shift, you grab that corner and you just shift button and it'll uh, keep it to scale and keep it from stretching out. And I'm going to go ahead and place that where I want it. I just go up here to my top button here on my left toolbox here, click on that, and it'll ask, ask me if I want to apply the changes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, apply. And so you can see over here my uh, layers palette right here. You'll see that I got my bottom layer, which is my master template, and then on layer two is the pizza photo we just put in. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our CC's logo or whatever logo you uh, going to put in there. I just did this one. So I'm just going to already pull that up. I'm going to drop that over here. And again, I want to make that a lot bigger. So I'm going to go to edit, free transform. And super small, but you'll see that I'm going to make it bigger. Get it nice and big for you guys. And get to where I want it and go back to my top button there again. Ask me if I'm going to apply the changes again. Uh, yep, I want to apply that. So we're getting here, getting close here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is put some type on top so I go to my type tool come over here click where you want to type and let's be a little slow right now there we go let me select that let's try that again So I'm going to go buy one. Return, get one. And edit free transform again. Make this bigger. Then I can actually stretch it out to make it fill in that spot the way I want. Like so. And you guys can get as creative as you want on there. There's a lot of tools on here I'm not going to explain because, frankly, it's not going to really help you out right now. You just For this stuff, these are pretty easy coupons. Um, once you start exploring uh, Illustrator and Photoshop, you guys can uh, do all kinds of fun things. But <coughs> for right now, this is pretty much all you're going to need. Um, so we got buy one, get one. We've got our logo. We've got our picture on there. And then the last thing, I'm going to put free down here. And let's do free, explanation mark, and if I want to make that, let's go back to that. I'm going to show you guys how to make this. If, if I'm in my, um, you know, still my type phase of the uh, operation here, I can go up here and make the um, size of the um, type as big as I want. Of course, it's not, it's being a little bit fussy, but I'm going to just go ahead and free transform it, but. Um, there are other options just to change the font size and all that from the um, from one more you're typing. Anyways, I'm going to go over here to free transform. Edit free transform again. And now I can just grab that corner. And I'll allow me to pull that all the way out there. It looks pretty good right there, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that top left button in the toolbox again and apply it. And we're done. You guys can always add smaller type, you know, expiration dates, all that stuff in there. You just got to pick your fonts out um, and all that good stuff. <coughs> and then just remember over here in your, uh, your, your layers palette here, if I want to go over here and move something, like, I can't just click on top of the pizza logo or the whatever logo. I have to go over here and go over here and select on my layer right here. So if I want to uh, move layer two, I have to select on layer two, and then it will allow me to move that layer. So that's a really key thing to remember, guys. Um, 
But other than that, it's really simple. Uh, the layers palette is also uh, used in the um, the uh, photo editor, so just keep that in mind. Other than that, um, it's very simple. Um, and then you can go up here to File, Save As. And then this is where you can save as a PDF or uh, whatever you want to do over here. Um, pretty standard, but I'm going to show you real quick how to do this. Save this for the web for JPEGs. You go down here to Save for Web and Devices. And click on that, and it will bring you up um, this window here in a second. My, my computer's a little bit slow today, but um, it will pull up a little window here in a second. Apparently not. It's pretty slow today. Anyways, um, you get the gist. That's going to come up. It's going to ask you if you want to save it. And here it is, finally. Um, so, yeah, it's going to ask me, do you want to save this the way this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sure, I'm going to save it. And, uh, yeah, I want to save it again. I just saved it as a JPEG. And it's set. There you guys are all saved, ready to go. Um, so that's how you make a, a coupon using Adobe Photoshop. Please stay, stay tuned for more videos, more to come. And uh, thanks for everything, guys. You guys are doing great. And keep on going to get it. Thanks.